Hey guys, welcome back to the API wrapper series where we're building a wrapper uh, Ruby gem for the Vulture API. Now the last couple episodes we set up HTTP requests and then we started building objects with OpenStruct to actually wrap the responses and handle um, all of those in a nice Ruby-ish fashion. But now we need to actually go start building out that interface that we sketched out a little bit at the beginning. So we talked about having a Vulture client with methods on it like applications list and regions list and then instances create. So we can interact with the groups of resources like applications, regions, um, re uh, instances and so on. Um, and then talking about those individual actions on those resources. So let's dive into actually building this out a little bit. First thing we're gonna need to do is add some methods to our Vulture client. So this is gonna need the applications method, it's gonna need the um, plans method that we, the, we implemented before. We can add the account method for that and we can kind of translate the API docs categories on the left side to a resource inside of our library and we can give that resource methods. So let's do that. Let's go and add a resources account.rb. So we'll create a new folder. It'll be vulture class account resource. And we'll introduce a new resource um, parent class that we can use for this. So what we'll want in here is to have a list and that will take some options at some point for the params for new cursor um, so we can have page navigation and per page stuff. And this is going to be a like a get request to